And good evening, a South Edmonton car dealership is dealing with the aftermath of what's sure to be a pretty costly cleanup. A sinkhole opened up overnight, swallowing four cars parking in its lot. Nairman is at the Infinity dealership tonight where the cars are gone, but that hole remains, Nairman. Yeah, Aaron, right now a lot quieter than it was earlier today. So let's show you what it looks like right now. Uh, crews have put up some fencing and some caution tape to make sure people stay away from this sinkhole. There were several crews and employees that were around here. Four vehicles stuck in the sinkhole and it took crews about an hour and a half to pull them out. This is what welcomed employees at the Infinity South Edmonton dealership early Tuesday morning. Four vehicles swallowed up by a sinkhole. Walked in this morning from like just over here, I saw the cars sunken in. I just thought it was some sort of like picture, I don't know what it was. Lucky Apple works next door at the Mercedes-Benz dealership and says the building surveillance cameras caught what happened. The dealership isn't sharing the video. And looked on the camera and around 12 o'clock last night, you could see them slowly just collapsing into the into the ground. A heavy duty tow truck was called in to hoist each car out one by one. An employee with Cliffs Towing says this was an unexpected call. When you showed up, what was your first thought when you saw this? Holy <laughs> Dale Jackson has been in the business for decades and says this is a rare sight. It's usually out on the, on the road where water escapes underneath, pipe breaks, stuff like that. But uh, in a dealership, no. CTV News is told of the four vehicles involved. Two were brand new, one was used, and one was a customer's who recently dropped it off for service. Repairs could be in the thousands of dollars range. Kind of scary to see, like another 20, 30 feet this way, it would have been a lot more damage. So who knows what will happen with these cars here. Infinity employees declined to speak with CTV. Now this is also a Go Auto um, dealership and we have reached out to them and we have not heard back. Now as for what caused the sinkhole, that's where the investigation lies. Uh, you know, this is a private property, so it is up to Infinity to figure that one out. Back to you. Okay, our Nairman Eason reporting live for us tonight from South Edmonton. Thank you.